welcome to my channel. My name is Amiyoko. I make DIY sewing and fashion videos. In today's video, we are going to be making Harry Styles Granny Square cardigan. If you haven't heard of the Harry Styles cardigan, I think it's been around for maybe two years, year and a half, kind of late to the Harry Styles cardigan trend. But um, granny square cardigans are super trending right now. Um, so I'm hopping on that train. Today's video is half a tutorial, half not a tutorial. I'm not going to show you how to make each individual square. That would take a millennium. <laughs> so I already made all of my squares. I'll show you a few of what they look like. These are all of the squares I've made. So there are 64 of them. According to my calculations and the pattern I made in my head, that's how many I needed. I don't know if that's how many I need. I still need to plan it out a little bit more. I'll go through that process with you guys. I might end up needing more. I don't really know yet. Um, obviously I still have to put them all together, they're just in squares. But I wanted to show you guys some of the ones that I have made so far. The Harry Styles cardigan is mostly just colored squares. It has a few striped ones, but it's mostly just colors. And I love that cardigan, but it's not really super my style. So I wanted to kind of add some of my own own designs into it no not my own designs I got all of these crochet patterns on Pinterest and online but I wanted to add my own touch to them just so it fits better into my wardrobe and obviously you guys could do the same thing I'm just gonna show you some of the squares I made one of the very first ones I made and is literally my favorite one is this adorable sunflower one it's just so cute. Sunflowers are my favorite flower in the world. So this is just my personality written all over it. And because I thought that this sunflower was pattern was so cute, I made a lot of other ones, but in different colors. This one, this one, this one, this, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one. And this one, which is not the same pattern, but still a flower. Anyways, I really loved that one. So I will have a lot of flowers on this card again, which is totally my vibe. I really love it and I'm so excited. Some other squares I made is this like multicolor one. I made like eight of these squares. I literally used the whole thing of yarn because it was so cute and I just wanted to add it all over. I made this really cute purple and pink one and just colors kind of throughout, you know, the different squares I made out of this yarn. I made a lot of striped ones too. Um, there's a few. I made some of these really cute square within a square within a square ones. They turned out really adorable. I made like a ton of them and honestly so glad because they're really adorable. I also tried to make some checkered ones. I don't know if they necessarily look checkered or like zigzaggy. This is like the first one I made. Here's another one I made. Here's another one I made. This one looks more gingham, maybe. I literally only made one because it's with three different colors and it was a lot of work and hard to make. And then the last ones I made, which I literally wanted from the start, just couldn't figure out how, was this little bobble, I think it's called a bobble crochet. It's so cute. It's got these textured little bubbles on it. I made quite a lot of these too. I think six of them all in this color. Um, but yeah, so cute. Just to add a little bit of extra texture. I'm very excited to see how these ones turn out. Um, and yeah, that is all of the different squares I made. Obviously, I made a lot of them. I followed a few tutorials online. The main ones that I'm going to link down below for you are these square within a square ones, these flower ones, and these bubble ones. 
these patterns are all free on um, online <laughs> so you can follow them on your own again um, I don't know if I really mentioned this, but I crocheted all of these squares. I knit too, but I'm not as good as knitting as I am with crocheting. Personally, I think crocheting is a little easier, for me at least. I crocheted all of these and I'm planning on crocheting it all together as well. Something else I did was make these two front pieces, like for right here, for a neckline. For the back, I was just, I just made some that were like a little bit shorter but still a square these ones i made into triangles so that they can like frame my neck better i don't exactly remember how i did this i just played around until i figured it out anyways you could do that too if you want to i've seen other people just leave it a square and then they just like fold, like fold it so it turns into a triangle you can do whatever you want. There are all my squares. Right now I have 64. I'll let you know if that's how many I use. We'll see. The next step is to kind of just like move around the pieces. I'm going to lay the pieces on the floor in the shape I want it. Kind of measure in a few places like my arms to make sure everything is gonna fit. Um, and just place my different squares where I want them until I get the pattern I want and then we'll work on attaching them all. All right, you guys, I figured it out. Okay, so this is the front. You can tell by the dip right there. Super cute. That's the left arm. It's kind of dipping under my bed because I ran out of room. This is what the back will look like. And that's the sleeve. So basically each part is made out of four by four 16 squares. So that is where the front stops. So this part is the front. This part is back. That is one sleeve. This is the other sleeve. Okay, so basically it's going to just be kind of cropped in the front, which I'm totally okay with. This is what it's gonna look like. I'm so excited. It's so pretty. Okay, now we just gotta put it together. Okay, you guys, I'm putting it together really quick. Um, I'm doing this on my phone so that I can see what's going on. Um, anyways, I touched my first two squares basically what I did is I just put them flat together like wrong sides facing each other and then I <laughs> I put my needle through like both layers like through the first stitch on this white one and through the first stitch on this like multicolor and then I strung I hooked the thread, pulled it through, and did like a single crochet. And I did that for the whole thing. And so it kind of has this like tan bridge almost. It's like you can feel it. And I want that. I think it's kind of cool. It adds some texture. So um, that's what the back looks like. You can hardly see it. You could do it that way too. Like if you want this on the inside, and that on the outside, you could do that too and make it really smooth. But I kind of want it like textured like this. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, guys, I finished my first row. Just a whole lot more to go, but it's looking so good and it's so cute. And I can tell this is gonna be really comfy. So I'm very excited. Um, I'm just gonna be making a lot of very long rows like this and then I'll get back to you guys when I'm ready to start stitching everything together. Just put these two very long pieces together. They look so cute um, and it's fitting pretty good. The sleeves are going to start here and end there and like be pretty big, which is awesome. 
The one thing I'm not loving is, so these sides until here are supposed to match up, which is fine. But then there's not like a whole lot of space in the front, which I don't mind too much. But there won't be like enough space in the back, basically. So I'm thinking I might crochet another like extra two inches um, connecting here. Maybe an inch and a half. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Just in this color that I'm using to attach it all. That's what I'm thinking I might do. Um, or maybe this red color. No, probably. I don't know. I need to think about it a little more. But I think that's what I'm going to do to make sure it fits alright. You know, I, I still need to think about it. This is what I changed. So, I added two squares here. So now the bottom is five around, plus the other five once I add the other side. So 10 all the way around. It gives me a little bit of extra room. The back is all the way covered. The, re the way I did that is the sleeves were four on the top and four on the bottom unnecessary we do not need that much for a wrist i am going to leave it three around the wrist because i do want sort of a a what's it called bishop sleeve effect um anyways what i'm going to do here one sec okay this is what i'm going to do because i made the sleeves so much smaller um there was a lot of extra squares. I have four extra squares. So basically, I'm not going to use this patterned one anymore. It's out. But I'm going to unravel one of these, or two of them actually. Keep one side this width, but then I'm going to triangle it down until I use all of whatever yarn is left that's what i'm going to do is triangle it down and then add it to this part of the sleeve so that it fits onto you know the rest of the cardigan and there's enough room for my arm but that it tapers down into just three at the bottom i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to do that I'm just going to play with it. I'm definitely not an expert crocheter. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying this as I go. So I'm sorry if this is just not helpful in that way. But this is going to be so cute and I'm so excited. And I really hope that you guys make this too. Alright you guys. Hopefully you can see me. Um, but this is what it's looking like. Dude. <laughs> It is so cute. It is really, really cute. Um, it's kind of short. Like, I wanted it to be short, but, like, I think it's making me a little upset because my shirt is longer than this is. So I'm definitely going to add, like, a pretty thick band at the bottom. I'm planning on, like, outlining everything in this cream color or maybe, like, a white color. Not super sure yet, but I'm going to make like a cuff and waistband and like I don't know what to call them, but like lines down the middle and like it's 11:30, um, so I'm going to hit the hay. I'm so happy about the progress I've gotten so far, and I'll continue in the morning. Hello you guys, it is the next morning and I've already gotten a little bit of a head start, not much. Basically what I did is made some little pizza slices and this is for the sleeves. They'll basically go like right here and just help to taper things in a little bit. I literally still have all of my pieces on the floor just so they don't move and I just want to keep all of the patterns in the place 
I want them so I don't mess anything up. The top is four squares round. And then the next one is three squares plus the beginning of this. Basically four squares. But then it starts tapering to the point where when it gets to the end of this, it will only be three squares. And then the wrist will also be three squares. But then when I make the cuff, I'm going to make it kind of cinch in those sleeves. So they have a bit of a balloon sleeve, bishop sleeve effect. How I made these, I will let you guys know because it took me many tries. Each square is about 16 to 17 chains long. Okay. And the way I tapered this was um, the first row, just normal row. By the way, I did most of these squares with a double crochet stitch just so that they're not too thick and not too heavy. So the first row I just did all 16 stitches double crochet. This next row I started with two chain rather than one and I skipped a stitch. And I did that for each row. I chained two and skipped a stitch. So each row is missing one stitch, which was perfect. And the reason I chained two is so that like the edges aren't like super scrunched. It would have happened if I didn't do that. And this was perfect. This was exactly what I wanted. So I'm very happy with this. And this will this is pretty long. It'll run into two squares but that's what i wanted i wanted like something that would taper it but not too much not too drastic of tapering and this was perfect um and i just took apart some of the squares i had made overall you will need 62 squares and two of these pizza pieces and then of course we will also make the cuff and the neckline and the hemline and all of that later. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just start putting the sleeves together. I'm not going to do the cuff yet. I'm going to leave all of that till the end. But I'm going to start putting the sleeve together. And then I'm going to try it on before I attach it to the bodice part. All right, you guys, this is where we're at. Yeah, so this is the front, this is the back. I kind of prefer this side, but I'm gonna put it in the back because it just makes more sense. Um, anyways, it's looking really cute. It's just right, it'll land right there. And I'm gonna make a pretty large cuff so that the sleeves are long enough. Um, and then here is the bodice so it'll attach right there I just realized that I did something wrong so the sleeve is four around because I added these two pieces to the sides this armhole is now five around which is an issue yeah, now I have to figure out something to solve that issue. Um, I don't know right now. I need to think about it for a little bit. I have a lot to do today, actually, so I don't think I'm going to finish this today. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe not? I'm, I really don't know. But I'll figure out how to solve that problem, and I'll get back to you. You guys, we are on the final stretch. And oh my gosh, it is looking so cute. It's a few days later because I got pretty busy with some work stuff. Um, but guys, it has sleeves now. Um, so really all that is needed is cuffs, the neckline piece, the hemline piece, and the button bands. Update. 
the sleeves, so the opening for the armhole on the bodice was five squares big. And the armholes on the sleeves was four squares big. So that's one square difference. Basically what I did is I just sort of eased it into the five or, or, or the four. So I just did like normal stitching up to here. And then when it got to like the squares at the top, that's when I started like every other stitch, I would combine two stitches, if that makes any sense. Anyways, it turned out really good. Guys, it fits me so well, which I was truly surprised by because it can be unpredictable. Also, um, this is the little pizza slice and where I put it in the sleeve. Just as a reference, um, it worked really well and no one's going to see it, so it's nice in that way too. So I'm just going to start crocheting all of the edges and making it all look pretty and then we'll do the final reveal and I'm so excited.